Let's denote the given limit by a. Therefore, a is equal to the limit extending to infinity x plus 6 upon x plus 1 whole raised to the power x plus 4. Now divide the expression in the brackets in both the numerator and the denominator by x. Therefore, this limit can be written as limit extending to infinity 1 plus 6 upon x divided by 1 plus 1 upon x whole raised to the power x plus 4. Now take the log of both sides, therefore ln a is equal to the limit extending to infinity ln of 1 plus 6 upon x divided by 1 plus 1 upon x whole raised to the power x plus 4. Using properties of logarithms, this is equal to the limit extending to infinity x plus 4 times ln of 1 plus 6 upon x divided by 1 plus 1 upon x. Again, using properties of logarithms, this is equal to the limit extending to infinity x plus 4 times in brackets ln of 1 plus 6 upon x minus ln of 1 plus 1 upon x. Now, x plus 4 can be rewritten as x times 1 plus 4 upon x. Also, recall the standard expansion ln of 1 plus y is equal to y minus y square upon 2 plus y cube upon 3 and so on. Using this result, ln a is equal to limit extending to infinity x times 1 plus 4 upon x multiplied by in brackets ln of 1 plus 6 upon x which can be written as 6 upon x minus half of 6 upon x whole square plus 1 upon 3 times 6 upon x whole cube and so on minus ln of 1 plus 1 upon x which can be written as 1 upon x minus half of 1 upon x whole square plus 1 upon 3 times 1 upon x whole cube and so on. Now multiply the expression in the square brackets with the term x present outside the brackets and therefore ln a is equal to limit extending to infinity 1 plus 4 upon x times in brackets 6 minus half of 6 square upon x plus 1 upon 3 times 6 cube divided by x square and so on minus in brackets 1 minus half of 1 upon x plus 1 third of 1 upon x square and so on. Now note that as x tends to infinity, 4 upon x tends to 0. And inside the square brackets, all terms involving x tend to 0 as x tends to infinity. Therefore, ln a is equal to 1 plus 0 multiplied by in brackets. 6 minus 0 minus 1 minus 0 which simplifies to 5 and therefore the value of a is equal to e raised to the power 5 which is the required answer.